Oh yeah, it is. It is. Are you sure? Yeah. Say it again. I. Hey, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> Just in we case. have to um like wait a couple of minutes because for some reason it's like we got to look at it in something. We have a delay. Um, we have a delay. Yeah, that's what it's called, a delay. Um, anyways, y'all, we are doing homemade macaroni and cheese today. Um, so zero, please feel better, baby. I will be praying for you. Um, just for to feel better and and everything. Just it feels it's awful when you feel yucky. So praying for you, girl. Um, anyways, you people, you part you want to grab your slippies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we are doing homemade macaroni and cheese. I make a couple of them. One of them I make with like an egg and it goes in the oven and it's a little different. This one I make is more of my nephew loves this kind. So, oh, shout out to Chasey. Oh, I didn't let Chasey know. Um, no, it's not. That's weird. It's weird that it did that. Sorry guys, Oops. are we back? Um, I have water boiling. I'm gonna throw in my noodles. While my noodles are boiling, I'm gonna do my um, I'm gonna make my roux and sauce and everything. My cheese sauce. Um, you don't need this much. I don't think you need this much um, water. I we just over overfilled the pan to boil it. But I'm gonna take them out when they're a little al dente. Because one, I once it goes in the cheese sauce and then it goes in the oven, I want it to still, I don't like a mushy macaroni and cheese. So that's me. If you guys prefer mushy macaroni and cheese, then make it mushy. Um, but I'm going to stick this to the side and it's going to be in high because I want the noodles. Ideally, I want them to be done with this. If you guys hear nothing else about the whole cheese macaroni and cheese, do not rinse your noodles. Um, your noodles need to stay um with the starch on it they need to stay with the um um hey nosy hey jilly i didn't see jilly's name but she said hi to jilly so my jilly's in here hi jilly bean i have not talked to you in forever it feels like forever um i i miss all my girls i have just kind of been a little scatterbrained um don't rinse your noodles we're using basic elbows uh i put salt and water in my in my pan and then I am putting a stick of butter into my pan. Hello, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Gabby's my regular. Gabby, I'm gonna have to, thank you for coming in. I feel like, um, I don't even know what chat I see you in. I think I see you in Molly's, but I don't even know where we originated, but I see you in here so much. So thank you so much for your support. Um, I have, Joe likes bacon on his. So we have bacon. I gotta put a little more butter. It's not a full stick. You gotta have bacon. Yeah, he likes bacon and I love my husband, so I'm putting bacon. There you got it. Oh yeah? Fried up and chopped up. So that way he so that way I can't say <laughs> so that way I can't say, um Well, it's not even done yet. So he's like, I got the bacon done, so I'm gonna melt my butter. I make mine like this. I throw in my minced onion right now i put minced onion i put about a quarter of a cup i'm making a smaller pan it's going to be about an eight by eight maybe nine by nine pan it's not going to be a full nine by 13 or like a cake size pan or anything like that when i make it in my deeper pan like a casserole dish i use double i use two boxes of my macaroni and cheese and i double all my cheeses i'm making a smaller batch for just us gabby is from uh, molly and justin's oh okay hey Oh, that's what it was. I think I saw you in Justin's, and I was like, there, that's how I know her. Did you, did you um, say hello to Yep, so Nosy? Hey, yep, I said, hey, Nosy. I think Marissa said hi, Jilly. Just want to make sure we're covering everybody. And yes, we don't want anybody to feel left out, because I've been in the chats, too, and somebody doesn't say hi, and I'm, I mean, I'm just kind of bummed. I'm going to go through them all. I'm watching. I'm going to. Um, I put a little bit of gar. I put a quarter cup of onion in it, and I'm going to put a full tablespoon of garlic. I put garlic because I'm not going to put the garlic powder in the in the sauce. If you don't have fresh garlic, use your powder once you get your milk and your cheese and everything um, in there. But I like a saute in there. I like to... Okay, zoom. Zooming? Not on me. Over there. <laughs> this is my uh, onion, garlic, and butter. So uh, basically the beginning of... I'll probably make like soups like that and... Um, I'll make soups like that and I'm gonna make chicken dumpling soup this week with you guys I make a chicken dumplings in the oven with like dumplings on the top 
and then God, you have to show me. Um, and then I make a chicken dumpling Perfect. soup. That <laughs> then I make a chicken dumpling on the stove that there's like soft little biscuits in it. So I make two different chicken dumplings. Some people I know put like um, if you want put a bouillon in your noodles, but remember it's gonna be a little salty then. This, I feel like if I put salt in there, I can just limit how much I put. When you put a bouillon or some kind of thing like that, it's going to accelerate your saltiness uh, that you're having in there. So you want to make sure your garlic is cooked out. I'm going to throw some flour in here. Not much. Not much, but I do want to get my onions. Um, I don't want them crunchy and I don't want them raw. So I, then that's all I'm doing in here is just cooking my garlic are cooking my onion. I'm, I've mainly put the garlic in right now because it's raw. My garlic and my onion need to get the raw cook out of it. So that's why I'm, I'm cooking them a little bit right now. And you get it on what, high? Really yeah. High, yeah. About, a med about, a, about a medium high. Medium high. Yep. Now I'm going to put in, I'm going to start with one tablespoon to see how much oil is absorbed. How much, how, much was that? Wooden... how much flour did you put in just to uh, get I this probably one? put a good, a, um, a heavy tablespoon. Heavy tablespoon. Yeah, you know what? Let me put a little bit more. That's it. All right. Now it's about a good tablespoon. There you go. Heavy. I like a wooden spoon when I'm making my roux. I don't know. I, I like a, a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon, I can. I feel like it's... Um... You want to keep it on high? Yep. I, well, I mean, for cookers... Start with low, or put it on medium. Don't go any lower than medium. You want to keep it higher. And then I am going, once you, for at least a minute, you want your flour to, the raw cook, the raw flour to cook out of there. But in a minute, we're going to, mm-hmm. Thank you, Jilly, Gabby, Nosy, thank you all. Zero's not feeling good. Say prayers for my girl, Zero. All right. I am going to throw in. It's changing color now. I'm getting a little more. Yep. A little more tan. Gold. Yeah, getting more goldy. Goldy color. Hey, Mo. It's great to have you, girl. Mo Mimi. getting nervous yeah don't be nervous you can either use heavy cream heavy cream or you can use whole milk um i use half i i mix half and half of it i use half of the heavy cream and half of the whole milk um well, once that milk is it it just solidifies yep i might give you a whisk because i want it to break down so i can add my cheese Ooh. in it I'm adding my liquids. Remember, guys, when we add uh, liquids to our. Get real thick, real quick. And you're going to want to just keep going like this in a circle until your, your uh, flour mixture is broken into it evenly. Uh, and then it will be a, a thick, basically a thick gravy in there. Once all of your. Um, and, and some people don't even use the flour portion of it. They go straight from butter and they put just heavy cream instead of milk. I actually use whole milk and not just heavy cream. So I actually need a little more thicker consistency and that's why I do the flour. I got minced onion, minced garlic and butter that sauteed uh, for about five minutes. Then I added flour. I sauteed the flour with that for about two minutes. I need that flour to get cooked out of it, the rawness of it. And I'm going to add the rest of the milk in. Honestly, guys, we, I mean, everybody, be, instead of buying the craft, I mean, trust me, me and Joe go through the, the pasta aisle and we're like, you want some, uh, we love the craft 
macaroni yeah. and cheese. Yeah. I love that the imitation old, cheese. The old kid stuff. Yeah, and growing up, I, we weren't we weren't privy to have that. So uh, yeah, if I can buy either. it now, it's like, oh my God, this tastes so fake. It tastes so good. How's it going? It's going. It's uh, yeah. It's doing something. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's uh, it's like getting thicker now again. Yep. Once you once it got my... watery again, once you put that last milk in there, now it's getting a little bit thicker. I'm gonna add a little bit. I have sharp cheddar, uh, Monterey Jack, Colby, and then this is the little bit of mozzarella that I was gonna get rid of. Otherwise, I would just use Colby. Monterey and sharp cheddar, but this one was sitting in there and I said, um, I don't want it to go to waste. So I normally put, um, how do I say this? I like the way the sharp cheddar tastes in my macaroni and cheese. So I usually put all of my sharp cheddar and then I add, uh, start adding the rest of them slowly. And I kind of grab a spoon, I taste it. I mean, sometimes, I mean, who knows? Sometimes I'm in the mood. No, I won't say that. Just do it like this. Because sometimes, I was going to say, sometimes I put majority sharp cheddar, but then I'm like, no, I actually add all. Sharp cheddar, Monterey, Colby. I think somebody puts Velveeta. I mean, God, why? Who, who, what, what's bad about Velveeta? It's cheesy already. There's nothing it's wrong. Cheesy. And you guys, go to the cheese aisle. I saw a guy put um, Gouda cheese in it. I had never seen Gouda, but why not? Me and Joe love Havarti. I don't know if I put Havarti in here, but... Go for what you like, y'all. This is your guys' playground. I told you guys before, like this, if you can, by all means, grab cheese that has been, uh, that is a block and grate it yourself. It's gonna get creamier. Um, there's a little coating that they put on grated cheese uh, that, that will actually affect your cheese sauce. If you have a block of cheese, it's gonna be creamier. I promise you, try it one way, try it the other, and you taste it, and you I promise you'll tell the difference. It just tastes, it tastes different. Get thick now. Oh, come on, Daddy. We're gonna add a little bit more milk, and then I am gonna add, how are my noodles doing? I haven't tested them yet. Okay. I'm Mr. Stir boy. Yeah, come on with Mr. Stirring. Let me switch up there, and, oh no, I better not, because I need this to go. It's okay, you're good. Let me do this side. Is this quicker? Our goal now, guys, is to um, I can put this on the back. to cook with you guys as much as, like, I don't want to have this stuff prepared. I mean, I could. It doesn't matter. But I want you guys really to have an idea um, to 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I mean, probably the biggest thing that I have for myself is that... Um, I want it to be, uh, I want it to taste like it's homemade and not have to sit in the kitchen the whole time. Um, want me to stir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, how thick does this got to be? You, I like it. And remember, guys, the longer it sits, your cheese sauce is going to get a little thicker. So keep some, keep some milk on you because you want it a little bit, uh, but I want it thick enough. So I'm not going to add any more milk. That's thick enough. Yep. Like that. Yep. And if at any time I can go in and put the rest of my cheese in. I kept thinking I was making a big pan, so I'm like grating, 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 and grating, and I'm just like, holy cow, this is gonna be really cheesy. And then I remembered what pan I was making, and it's like, it's cheesy. But we haven't eaten since like noon or one today, so we're like, we were starving, and we're like, no, I'm making macaroni it's cheese tonight. Man. It's yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me check on my noodles, baby. Check on your noodles. But that's why we didn't want to have noodles prepared. We wanted you guys to get, like, the whole concept of how long does it take for the noodles. And I only stick this in the oven about 10 minutes because everything's hot. It doesn't have raw egg. It just goes in the, to in the oven with cheese on top and on broil to toast up the topping. I don't do anything... Um, I, it doesn't have to go in for 45 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's what we wanted to do is go close once you come in now. Oh, we don't need that. But how about over here? <laughs> this is the cheese sauce, y'all. Mm, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, you're good. And it's going to get thicker. I'm, I'm letting it chill out right now. And the longer your any kind of gravy of anything is going to, the longer it sits, it thickens up. 
go off the sides, clean off your sides because there's sometimes there's spices up there, sometimes there's actual. Um, We're going underneath the pit. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I'm going to taste it, see how my garlic was, see how my. Oh, that's not good at all. Mm. Oh my. That's good. It's, me. it's good. <laughs> you want to try? Don't yes, fall in love with me because you're already married to another woman. Oh, that's pretty good, man. It tastes that's good. good. It tastes good. It does taste good. And speaking of good. Is my good girl? There she is. I said good girl Ooh. and she looked at mama. How you doing there, little girly girl? You looking into the camera? <laughs> yes, guys, we have our air conditioner on. Can you believe it? It's actually warm enough here. We have our air conditioner on. A la chihuahuas. I think it's ready. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. Two minutes. Right now they taste. Um, they taste. When you bite into the noodle, it tastes. Look at it's soft already. But I, it, it, it tastes like. Mm, like it could use. Oh, it's 69 there too. Yes, nosy. I'm telling you, girl. And I don't do heat. I don't know. My brother used to bring the kids over in snow suits and keep them on there. I kept my house at 64, 65 degrees. I just, I don't like to be uncomfortable and heat makes me uncomfortable. Why did I move to Texas, you ask? Well, you see that little boy that comes in. His name is Chase. A little girl that comes in that says Avril, Madison Avril, and a little girl that says Madis, uh, Marissa. I came down to Texas when I hate heat for my niece and nephew. Hello to... <laughs> I hope I'm not getting hot flashes. Hello to Helmcat and Mo. Hey, Helmcat. Um, Helmcat's one of uh, one of the skis. So thank you guys for coming in. Um, so I actually, I like my air conditioner high. I like it cold in here. So we have the front and the back. Thank God we have two ACs. Our other RV, we only had one AC. I was no bueno. I was like, we need to get another AC unit because it was just on all the time. I mean, Texas heat is Texas heat. And before you knew it, it was like, I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot because the AC unit was never being turned off. I wanted it all day and then all night. I mean, the honest to God, you guys, in Texas, the sun, it's still 90 degrees at uh, nine o'clock at night and it starts getting 90 degrees at eight o'clock in the morning am i lying joe i ain't lying it texas is no business for anybody like this girl <laughs> who doesn't like heat all right let's drain our nudies yes all i right. guys if you guys are gonna find out she talks kind of crazy i call them chicken nuggies i call them my slippies my soda pop you want to do this side i get yeah, yeah, sure whatever you want baby i'm gonna grab me a pan to put it in Yes. Do you know where my glass one is? Uh, no. I found it. Glass. I'm putting butter in it because we live in the south. And we put butter in everything. And I'm putting butter in the bottom of my pan. Because it's one more opportunity to put butter in my pan. Or butter in my dish. What's wrong, babe? You're showing them. Oh. What you doing when you're doing it? Putting butter at the bottom because Yvonne does. Okay, ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, we're going to drain the noodles. So only guess what, what it looks like, guys, because it's in the sink. I know you guys want to be a part of that, but Joe likes you guys to see it all. Hold up. Wait a minute. You want me to do that? You want to hold this? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. You guys, all do you right. know how excited we are? Damn, that is hot. Ay, Dios, que pasó? <laughs> I told you. Home cat, oh, Gabby, yep, nosy. Outside the box. Thanks for being here, girl. Appreciate all the new people. Ay, Dios. Yes, yeah, that's... Oh, I don't... Oh, what? Just leave a little juice in there. Very much. It's okay. We got that. We don't need more. Who do you want? The... Yeah, go ahead and pour it all. Over here. Huh? Uh, how, do I, how do I... No, no, just pour it all oh. with the juice. <laughs> I was going to say, how do I get the, the okay, noodles guys, out without the juice? This is the most important part of our macaroni and cheese venture. I'm not going to rinse it off. Let me show. No rinsing. It's going straight from draining back into the pan. 
Um, thank you. Is that for me to put it on? Yep. Okay. There you go. Do what you need to do. Oh, you flipped it? Yes. Okay. Ready, guys? Oh. Hey. Ah, you didn't fall in the beans. <laughs> Here's the... I use a cheese sauce. I've seen people that uh, one of my girlfriends makes. She puts just the cheese. She puts all of her noodles in a pan and chops up her cheese and throws her cheese in her pan. I mean, that sounds good too, but I like a sauce and my ne little nephew gave me the okay. So if my nephew gave me okay, then anybody else's opinion doesn't matter. And honestly, you guys, when you guys cook, it's your guys' It's your guys' food. If your husband and your kids like it, who cares when you take it to a potluck if somebody goes, oh my God, nobody ate your blah, 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 blah. Who cares? You and your husband are like, cool, we'll have more for us this week. Uh, outside the box with Chloe? Yeah, I said the hi to her. You yep, yep. Okay. yep. Thank you for sure. coming in. Thank you for coming in. Just making sure. I don't want any, I, I, that's just why he's saying that because we're, sometimes people get a little bummed out and I and I respect that because I get bummed out sometimes I mean I follow a, I I mod for a larger creator that sometimes has uh, about six or seven hundred people and depending on how what part of the stream I come in and I'm like hey and it's like I get it you got so many people you can't watch for me okay look at my macaroni all I did was pour it in guys I wish this light worked because this would be killer How about, um, this is what we use when we take our dog. I know, but it's too bright, man. It's way too okay, bright. Okay, look at how good that looks, you guys. <laughs> if we have our, I told you. our stand fell, I mean, we are so happy. Now we would have no, taken it broken, okay, huh, babe? We would have taken it broken, but, um, and I, I like it wet like this. I could probably put a little more, but I'm going to put cheese. Ay, Dios, Joey. He literally did the stupid dog stuff. Excuse I don't me, put I'm right in your way, y'all. Sorry. I don't put black pepper, you guys. Some people do. I just am not. Uh... Okay, this is the thing. He loves black pepper. It works. It really does. No, it don't work. Is it this button, maybe? Nope, it isn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so my macaroni and cheese is pretty. Just know that. Look at that. Is that the juiciest? And you did, we did this in 20 minutes? 20, 23. 25 minutes with a little bit of uh, cooking, a little bit of bacon. It that's because it's extra. If you don't want bacon, you don't. I was just going to say, we're doing it, it, can in be, real time. it can be eaten right now. You don't have to bake it. There's nothing raw in it. There's nothing. I choose to bake mine because I want it to go in the oven. Can I grab this side of the pan, yes, baby? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I want it to go in the oven and get a little bit of a a toast on it for my baby. He likes it like that. And I like it the way he likes it. That's right. I mean, I'll probably only put on half. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, papas, look what I made. Honey, Chase, everybody's in there. Look at what I made for you, papas. I made it for my baby. I mean, he's my brother's son and everything, but my brother shares him with me, you guys. Sierra's in there. Buncho, I made macaroni and cheese. Let me tell you a quick summary. In a pan, you get some, in a pan, get some <laughs> butter, some minced up onion. If you don't like onion, then just, I know it's your fave, Papa. Put garlic and onion, minced up onion, minced up garlic, or just do butter and flour. If you don't like those fresh, then just do minced up, just do uh, butter in a pan. Um, I put a half a stick or three quarters of a stick and a tablespoon of flour, and I get that flour cooked up. Once the flour is cooked up, then I throw in some heavy cream or milk, whichever you want. Um, then I use um, whole milk with a little heavy cream. Then I, um, once my, once the, the milk has broken down the flour mixture, the flour butter mixture, that's basically a roux. Once it breaks down that, I start throwing in all my cheeses. Um, I use ch uh, sharp cheddar, Monterey cheese, Colby cheese, and then I have a little bit of mozzarella because it was in my fridge. Um, you can just use one kind of cheese if you want. Um, and then uh, just keep it on low 
put your fork in it. See, this is if you haven't put the garlic and the onion at the beginning. This is when you put garlic powder, onion powder. Um, if you want a little heat in it, put a little cayenne pepper. Um, Joe wanted to have uh, bacon on it, so we're actually, uh, okay. You mix it up in the sauce, throw your already noodles in it, and this is where we are. So we poured it in a pan, casserole pan. You can put bacon throughout it. I'm just putting bacon on the top because I'm not a big bacon eater, but Joe is. So I'll do a little for him, but I'm not gonna make it all crazy. I'm like, I don't mind if it's all of it. No, I don't mind putting bacon on all of it. I just don't want bacon in it because I want to be able to. And you're like, well, just give it to me. You don't have to worry about going around it at all, right, babe? Exactly. Oh, you have the oven on braille? It is not on at all. Hey, Dios, qué pasó, y'all? Are we broiling? Yeah, why not? We're broiling. Sorry, Daddy. Sorry. I got this. There we go. Whoop. Oh, I was supposed to put a little sour cream this time. I wanted to try it. If you guys don't have, um, if you guys want to be adventurous, if you guys want to be adventurous, I have put sour cream in it at the point of when I'm mixing it in the pan, I'll put a quarter cup of sour cream. It gives it a little twang don't know if you guys i like i said i make a two or three different versions i make one with eggs that goes in the oven i make one this normally doesn't go in the oven I, if i didn't have bacon on it and cheese on top i would be at my at our cookout and i would throw it in the microwave and it would be ready to go but i wanted to put cheese and bacon on the top and toast it up and yeah, give it's it a, great when it gets a little crust on top yeah he likes it like that so i that's why i do that one like this i make one that i put sour cream in um, it's just like this, except for I put sour cream in it. Okay, it's exactly what I did, except for when I'm mixing it around with my cheese sauce, I throw in a quarter cup of sour cream. Then everything else is the same. But I'm going to make one, you guys, that has an egg in it. That way you can kind of get that. I mean, and the egg one is more firm. This one is real cheesy and gooey and that kind of cons uh, texture. But the one with the um, egg in it is more... You cut it, you break into it, and then... Are we putting more cheese on top? Mm, this is all, baby. You want more? Sure. You guys, I know. We don't eat healthy. And the, we're using sprinkle cheese for the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't... Okay, we're sticking it in the oven on broil. Can you put my soda pop in the freezer? Because I found one. You got one? You guys, the worst thing happened in the world. You got one? Yeah, I saw one on the top shelf. No. I found it. No, you don't. Did I put it in the freezer already? You I just saw it. No. I promise. Mistaken. Uh -uh. I had it in the freezer earlier. There you go. Uh, I went to H-E-B, minding my own business. No, I said put it in the freezer. <laughs> oh, put it in the freezer. I'll put you another one. I'll have There's one. no more. That's our only that's one. That's your only one? <laughs> I found one. That's what I said. Right. It'll be cold when you're ready for it. <laughs> um, we went to H-E-B to mind our own business. And I was uh, like, they were out of my soda pop. And I said, is there anybody that could get me some more soda pop some from somewhere? And I said, if you guys are out, that's okay, because everybody's out of everything. So I was just patient. Lemonade. I was patient. And then he went to go check, and I waited in the soda pop aisle. And I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And it got to about 20 minutes, and my husband came in, and he goes, hey, what's going on? Is everything okay? And I was like, yeah, they're taking a little while, I guess, on getting the... Yeah, I'm getting my soda pop. And he said, oh, do they have some? Because it's empty. And I go, well, that's what we're waiting for. They went, They said they found 40 items in, uh, there in, uh, in, uh, in the store. So that's why they went to go get them. And so we were like, okay, well, let's just wait. So that was our plan. I got my heart set. I was excited. that Not only that we had it, but that it was gonna be worth the wait, right? Okay. 30 minutes, you guys, stood in the aisle. Yes, I know, that's a long time to stand in an aisle to wait for your your stock guy to come I, back. I said, were they, you know, filling up a whole freaking pallet to, before they bring it out? You know, what? it was almost like when you go to like a Chick-fil-A or something and you're excited and you're in line, it's like, it's worth it, it's worth it. So I was like, it's okay, it's okay, babe. I said, well, there's one more drink. I said, well, let me go up in front and maybe ask them if they can call back and see if the people are coming. Like, let's find out what's going on. Okay. 
I went up front. Joe stayed in the pop aisle or soda pop aisle. And then I went to the registers. I was like, hey, uh, oh, hey, I thought you were looking for our, our, our soda pop, our Dr. B. And he goes, oh, oh, you're still here? And I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm actually still in the pop aisle. Bastard. And I was like, I was still in the pop aisle. I thought you were coming back. And he goes, oh, yeah, no, we couldn't find it. I don't know what the computer or whatever, what it said, but why it said we had some, we don't have any. And I said, oh, were you, were you going to tell me? And he goes, well, yeah, I guess I, we just kind of figured you didn't wait. And I was like, like, she never moved from where she was at. I said, oh, it's okay. I just got my hopes up. Cause then I smoke one past the wrong gal. I just thought that because you were getting it, like it was somewhere really deep into the stockpile and something. I said, don't worry about it. Don't. I mean, it's not his fault they don't have it. And I just was kind of bummed that they that nobody came to tell me because my heart was still like jumping and doing kicks and like flip flops. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's going to be so good. And I was like, like Dancing, internally. Yeah. Yes. I was like, literally like, oh, Ooh. yes, it's going to be great. I'm so glad we stopped because we went down to Marble Falls and and we almost forgot to stop by. And I was like, oh, shoot, we got to stop at H-E-B. And trust me, Walmart doesn't sell it. No place sells this brand but H-E-B. So, <laughs> you guys, we're not going back out there until Friday. And so, it's just about like a 40-minute drive or 30-minute drive. My bad, my bad. Right, Joe? Yeah. 30-minute drive. Oh. It's a 30-minute drive. And so, now I got to wait 30 minutes. And I got to wait till Friday. So, second best thing when you live in the South is what do you get? What are anybody in the south? What's the next best thing if you don't have your favorite soda pop? Oh, Because I'll do this too, but my soda pop is my my first go to. Anybody get it? it right? Anybody get know, it? Oh yeah. Any of my southern girls, what is my go to drink? My mom probably knows because I order it all the time. But oh, cream cheese is also good in it. <laughs> oh, really? Um, yeah, it's cheese. I guess. But <laughs> <Vodka>, you go <laughs> nosy. <laughs> What is your number one drink that's ordered at the restaurant you work at, Nosy? If they don't know, whatever drink. Yes, ma'am. My um, buncho knows. And or Big Red, yeah. Yeah. I've had Big Red forever. That's what we drink, and she's that's from Michigan. That's Fago for all the uh, Midwesterners. Yeah, she's from Michigan, Sierra. But the reason she knows, you do not drink Coke Zero, or is that what's ordered? Sierra knows about sweet tea, even though she's from Michigan. Because my mom, even though we lived up in Michigan, my mom made all Southern dishes. She made her cornbread stuffing and she made- um, Thank you. Um, we, we, I'm just, we had- I'm just making up for being a jerk earlier. Why? <laughs> you were not? Yeah. We, um, we had it's sweet tea not, uh, um, all the time. Like every picnic was sweet tea. I have sweet tea in my house normally six or seven days a week. I go to visit my brother. I make some sweet tea to leave in their fridge. I love my sweet tea. I love Dr. Pepper. I loved Coke when we were up in Michigan. Texas is in my home. Yeah, but how, do you, show, right? how do you make real good sweet tea? That's the thing. I need a sure, whole. Tell them, tell them how. <laughs> sweet tea fills me up it does girl i can eat i know right childhood vacation i know a bunch of we always had it at grandma's um i i mean i probably i i put a good i make simple syrup um hey marissa don't worry about it girl you're here hey. um how do you make it i boil my tea louisiana then and louisiana tea this is the tea we use y'all or or what's the other one we use? Community. Community. This is the tea we use. We don't use Lipton, anything. That's we good. use this tea. It's smooth. And uh, yeah. the other one, what's the other one did you say? Uh, community. Community, community, community is, is really very smooth, smooth too. Yeah. Um, I boil it. I usually have my content. I boil enough in a big pot so that way I can have a concentrate and I make Joe some. I make me some. I make simple syrup. That's the key. Um, you get one cup of sugar. Like regular sugar and two cups of hot water and you break it down and you like hold. I mean, it's a lot of sugar and it's a lot of water, but then I stick it in this. She's got some made already. I keep oh, it yeah. in this. It's my simple syrup. 
You can't just put pour <laughs> sugar in it and have great. No, uh, because the sugar tea. is like ground. I hate sweet tea. You because the sugar is like all crystalled at the bottom of my. Even if I mix it forever, there's little grounds of sugar in it. So I make my own simple syrup and I have it ready to go. So when we're because sometimes I take a drink and I'm like, this ain't sweet enough. <laughs> <laughs> so then I grab my little squirt when it bottle. Gets to sugar water. Yeah, we, he does that to me all the time. If anybody has watched Men in Black, we're like sugar water, sugar water. Um, and, yeah. over here. Um, so uh, yeah, I drink sweet. I drink sweet tea like it's meant to be drank, almost like McDonald's. But anyways, we are brought up on sweet tea our whole life. But even though we don't live, we didn't live in the South all my life. My mom made foods that was like we like biscuits, gravy, stuff like that. Thank you, nosy. You are the bomb, girl. We're about to you get know, down. You better take a picture of it. Mm. Hold it up. Anything. I think Nosy, can you do one more? Hey, Hermit. Here we go. Ooh. A little coating, a crunchy on top that my hubby loves. Yeah. And then let me get a plato. Where's our other plate, baby? Um, one is over at our neighbors. So oh, yeah, never be neighborly like because I was neighborly and I made some cookies and oh there's like two or three houses. Um we're about the only couple couple. I think there's maybe one other couple and I, we went and dropped off um I made snow snowflake cookies for one and then I made um I made like a coffee cake for the, he's single and they they're they're a young couple that are look like they're just starting out but I took over um a little at Christmas time, it was a gift, or a little, just to bake good. And one right next to us was our favorite plate, but I didn't, uh, hey, Tragic. Um, I ended up taking it, and they didn't bring our plate back. Hermit's a, Hermit, Hermit the Frog is there. I know, Hermit and Tragic and Marissa. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. We made homemade macaroni and cheese, y'all party people. You got a spoon, or a sp what do you want? I got a big fork. spoon. There's a big spoon right to there. To serve? Yes. You got a picture? I don't. No, they did. They did. Oh. All right, serving it up. This, can you guys see? This, when you make it with egg, it won't do that. It comes off firm. It's going to be a, a square almost. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of the firm. I make firm. it any way my Chasey likes it. Aunt Bonnie makes it with the way Chasey likes it, and now I'm sticking to that. Ew. Sorry. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. I gotta grab my soda pop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Last one, you guys. Till Friday. Somebody send a rescue. Okay, just kidding. Like I need it. Like I need it, you guys. That's the Lord telling me, easy girl, easy. All right. All right. I'll get the top in there. You get the top, and I'll get the bottom. All right. You're gonna get the piece of bacon on it. It's gonna be hotter. I'll get out. I'll get out. Ready? But you gotta have a picture of you. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no! <laughs> You're making fun of me. No, I'm down here. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> you lost Ready? it. I, Wait, your bacon know. fell off. Another one. Yep. Okay. Ready? Wait. Get a good one. Ready? Tink. Tink. Mm. That's pretty good. That's really good. You know what I like? I actually had a piece of bacon in mine, and it was good. <laughs> it's really good in there. Just um. Mm. I love that crispy top. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want to call it. I've heard um. Sorry. You're okay. It's happening. It's happening. Right. Um, you guys, it was really good. You like it with bacon too? No, tragic. You like it? Okay, guys. Is it better with bacon or without bacon? Mm. Jen, between. Hey, Jen. All of my new people. Thank you. Mail you some, Marissa. You're <laughs> in California. I'll do it overnight. Oh, the. Guys, we have new people in there. Apron, thank you. We actually sold our first shirt today. We got so excited. We got so excited. Um, 
I'm gonna show them the sorry guys there are well, apron you can get the apron in tan white or black can you make the each individual picture bigger yeah i can oh well, i gotta go to facebook right. um you guys I, we were like right. doing backflips we sold our first i mean it's not really us but just knowing somebody's gonna wear um a shirt that has like our we started this in 2021 i said two, 2001 but it was 2021 on facebook and it feels so i don't know how to explain it because we saw we used to do like food reviews send a uh, thing for merch we gotta read you yeah we're gonna read the comments really quick we're just yeah they come up pretty fast blogger i was gonna right, go to this one because this one shows the pictures up. of everything The place that you order, it's called Tea. What did I say? Tea talk? Tea time? Tea time. Yeah, I think so. Is Dizzle in here? She can drop. Holy moly. Why is this so slow? Mmm. So slow. I know. Let me just go to tea. Yeah. Tea. Tea talk. Tea talk? Yeah. See? Right? There's a little bit first bite. Oh no, that's us. <laughs> does, the, does anybody have a link to our Oh my lord. Alright, get back to the comments, babe. Okay, I will. We'll uh we'll pick that up later. That's not good. I don't know what's going don't on. Don't nobody eat that. That is not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good, you guys. It is really good. Again, do whatever cheeses you guys like. Some people like a more uh, pungent cheese or like a sharp cheddar. Use all sharp. Use majority sharp and Velveeta. I mean, I'm only showing that. Tea, tea talking, or what does it say? Anyways, we'll do it later. We have aprons and... Yeah, you can't really see that big, babe. The black t-shirt, ours is on its way. And the white hoodie. But anyways, anybody who wants to support, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's very, very kind of y'all. Um, uh, oh, on the bottom. Link. I think the bacon is totally... Send me a link, please, for your merch. I will, Marissa. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you didn't have it. It's in um, it's one of our group chats, but I'll send it to you for sure, so that way you're able to drop it. Thank you guys. Um, let me. I gotta look at my. <laughs> you want more? <laughs> yep. It's so good. Let me get my glasses. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, I've heard some people say um. They put ham in it. I don't know how ham would taste, but I like the bacon. I've had shrimp and I've had lobster in it. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're at like 73 today, 74. Uh, thank you, Nosy. Thank you, everybody that came in. Gabby, Nosy, <coughs> Mo. <clears throat> home cat oh wow mo you have two grandchildren i got my first one just this year and it's the most amazing feeling in the world oh we're not the only ones that have ac on nosy has her ac on too <laughs> sierra thank you for coming in chasey thank you guys uh call me chloe Oh, thank you so much, Chloe. I appreciate you subbing. I appreciate that a lot. I like, yeah, I think uh, gypsies are really nice. I just love supporting each other. It's really nice. I got to try it with cream cheese. I don't know if anybody's ever else have had it. What do you guys think about the cream cheese? Is that oh, good? It make it even creamier. Oh, I bet it would, right? Yeah, like it'd give a creaminess to it rather than 
It is really good. Ooh, quesadillas. All right, guys. I was just looking to see if there were any questions. Because last time, one day we missed them. And then we're like, we got to start looking at the questions. I apologize. <laughs> you love bacon. Marissa, I'm sending a shipment out for you, babe. Everything is better with bacon. You're like my husband, nosy. I mean, tragic. My husband says everything's better with bacon. That's the truth. I think this totally different dish that makes sense. Oh, wow, Jen, that good. I mean, I think it was good, but he is like, he needs meat. I think that's what it is. He needs meat in everything. So if I can put bacon on a, on a, like a salad, he'll like think it's the greatest thing ever. Look at, she's kissing her sister. Aww. <laughs> Bailey and Nova look at me like, why are you disturbing us? Uh... Marissa, babe, da, 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 da. San Fr wow, you live that close to San Francisco, Marissa. Who, wow, how exciting. 78, where you're at, Jen? Jen, where are you? What state are you in? <sighs> Gabby, we are neighbors. Are you neighbors with her? Not that it's bad, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> your neighbors with her look at them all looking crazy all right guys we are gonna head out we appreciate you guys coming in um that's 78 it was 72 or, what did i say 73 today it was hot enough for the air conditioner that's what i say hot enough for the air conditioner oh yeah you guys oh so she's by you uh marissa marissa's gonna come and visit me one day right marissa I wish we were all neighbors too. Uh, <laughs> I'm going. We start talking in our in our little th thread. Oh wow, you're in Georgia. Oh my God, are you be over my house eating? At least I have somebody to cook for. My son, when my son moved, like Joe had to start eating ba uh, like cereal. I mean, we eat we eat like this once a day. I like cooking like this. Uh, I like cooking. Rec I like feeding. It'd be them. nice if you had somebody to cook for. When we go to my brother's, I'm like making tortillas and making sweet tea. I just love. Uh, I, heard it all. I know they're like, what? You don't make sweet tortillas? Like I cook for them because they love it when I make tortillas. Anyways, guys, we love you guys. Thanks again. Um, <laughs> hey, ski mask. Oh, he actually came in. Jay. Hey, man. Ski mask came in. What's up? Oh, and Latina mommy. You guys rock. We made homemade macaroni and cheese. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Milton and Marie. Look, you ain't gonna make me cry today, okay? You ain't doing <laughs> <Still> it. <crying laughs> and cooking. Thank you for showing support. I truly appreciate it, you guys. I am blessed to. I, I'm blessed to know somebody of such kindness. I really am. I feel like that. Janelle, Queen Swags. Thank you, guys. This is the husband. Nice to meet y'all. <laughs> you got dressed up. You were just wearing this. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> You're like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you guys, thank you. Anne Marie, thank you guys. Uh, check out the rest. Hey, Janelle, thanks for, um, check out the recipe. It's really quick. We hung out. Skivers do the dogs? Yeah, they sound less than we were over there. Um, hi, hubby. Hey, seeing lies. No, a uh, queen said hello to you. Hello. Both queen, yeah, Queen Swags and Queen K. Liz, what's up, boo? Oh, you a wrench holder, bitch? Just kidding. Sorry, guys. Um, we that's I just talked to her like that on our little uh, thing. To now, thank you guys so much. Um, we're blessed. We've been together for twenty years, and I, I am glad we still enjoy. We look forward to going to bed together. We look forward to watching a movie together. We like going for a ride together. I know some people call it cheesy, but shit. I'm married to him. Might as well like being with him, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's cute. I'll hang out with him. I mean, some, some, we'll go to our store and somebody's like, there you go, sweetie. But they call everybody sweetie down here, you guys. So I can't really like be bothered by it. Bye, Jilly. Um, but they do call everybody sweethearts. And the first time I heard it was like, um, there you go, sweetie. And I was just like, I don't know how I feel about somebody. I mean, up in Michigan, nobody calls nobody sweetie. Hey, Jade. Yeah, I, we're like best buddies. 
best friends to the end. <laughs> but you know, it's weird when you're up in Michigan, nobody says sweetie, sweetheart, um, darling. And we come down here, ain't nobody calling me that. <laughs> I tell you, hon. No, 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 the, the waitresses and stuff. Oh, Why yeah. are they only calling you? Nobody calls me uh, sweetie or darling. I don't know. Hmm. Something about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something about you is how you said. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Um, Ski, thank you. You are. I don't care. I I think you're a great guy, and I love being a supporter. I love being nice. I love my husband likes listening to the 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 whole craziness. Yeah, he goes take your earbuds off. Let me Every hear. Let me hear. Every once he in a while. He does. He's like uh, when certain people are on panel, he's just like let me hear. Let me hear. Because I'm laughing at the craziness and seeing Ski laugh about it, and then everybody in the chat is like saying stuff, and then he's like, "What is so funny? I got to hear this." So. Bye, Chasey. Bye, poo -poos. We love you, baby. Take care, guys. Little Bear Claw. Oh, you guys are just so, so nice, guys. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you, Marissa. I appreciate you taking care of that. Thank yeah, you for I the thumbs you. up. Thank you for the thumbs up. I know, we try not to look at the people's together. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. Oh, wait. It's Monday. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Tomorrow is... Um, Copycat. Copycat Tuesday. We are Copycat making... Tuesday. I don't know. You you changed it. No, 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 that's next Tuesday. I said. Oh, next Tuesday. Yeah. This Tuesday we are doing Supa Toscana. Yeah, yeah. Supa Toscana. I'm going to say from Olive Garden. Olive Garden Supa Toscano, and next week we are doing Hey Jujube. Yes, it's a quick recipe. We just hung out for a little about thirty minutes, so pay no attention to the extras. It takes about how long do we say? Twenty minutes? Twenty three minutes? Yeah, about that. It doesn't have to go in the microwave. We put. We don't put eggs in it, so it doesn't have to go extra long. Um, there you go. It actually could be done in 25 minutes. Noodles, everything, we boiled them with you guys. Um, I, you love, you gotta see, the, he, it, it tastes so good. And there's no like having to ask for it. It's just like ours. I'm sure right now. Your soup, does, oh, the macaroni and cheese? Oh yeah. Yeah, Juju, look at the macaroni and cheese. It's more of a creamy Boiled one. It's more of a cream, just bacon and cheese on top and then broiled. That's the only reason we put it in the oven was to broil it. I thought you were talking about that. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, next week, we're doing Chick-fil-A's breakfast bowl. Um, so we do on Tuesdays, we do, what is it called? To Copycat Tuesdays. Copycat so every Tuesday, it's going to be a new, different, uh, different, um, every Tuesday, it's going to be a different, um, what's it called? A different restaurant. Um, he's, he makes a really good cheesecake factory. Cheesecake factory. Yep, cheesecake factory. Jambalaya. Uh, so good. Um, this one is going to be, uh, we did Frito Lay's bean dip. So good. Um, I have to give my approval before we do it. And usually, I mean, he cooks good stuff, but I well, I guess we just have ones that we make, like the chilies or uh, Southwestern egg rolls. That was, would have been a copycat. Yep. Um, so the one that's summing up next week, Tuesday, is going to be the, um... What are you guys doing? Dad, which was it called next week, Tuesday? Chick-fil-A. Don't let them know, please. We don't need no lawsuit, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Juju, send some down. If you guys have one that you... Nope. Um, we'll take any He's request that you guys... Even if it's not a copycat to uh, one, if you have a recipe you want to oh, see... You if you've seen one that you wanted to cook or wanted to make or you're wondering how they make that, put it on there. I am more than willing, my husband's more than willing. Sometimes some of them look a little crazy and I'm like, Joe, can you make this? Because if it's like intricate, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm not thrilled about it because it's like, that looks like so much work. He loves them when they're a little bit more refined. Um, oh no, Dizzle, go with your mom and spend some time with your family, please. Please, you have not seen your mom. Go and enjoy your time. Uh, family first, guys, uh, with everybody. Right. Family first. YouTube is a hobby. YouTube is an app and a hobby online. Ooh, fajitas one night. We make a killer secret recipe, fajitas. Wow. But we get skirt steak. If you guys ever want to know what it is, tortilla soup. We have not done that yet. Did you? 
A tortilla soup? Well, it's kind of like the the that that'd be a soup Nazi thing. That's kind of like a tortilla Have soup. Have you ever made it? it? Yeah. yeah. I don't well, think we made uh, it. It's it's chicken chili, but it's like a tortilla soup. So we we don't mind trying a new recipe or a new copycat recipe. So drop them in the comments. We look over everybody's comments. We read it. We watch it. We watch live chat with the comments, with people we're talking about when they're, we just want to do things what you guys want, honestly. So we don't just disregard them. Even if we don't read it for you guys to see it, we definitely read it. So we know what you guys are wanting and wanting to see. So take, have a good night, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're doing copycat Tuesday. If you want the stuff, it's beet, chicken broth, potatoes, heavy cream or whole milk, uh, garlic, uh, hot sausage, and bacon. That's it. We're going to make it tomorrow. Thank you. I appreciate that, Juju. I really do. Um, how good. Make the chili. That's really, really good. It's really easy, too. Um, put something in the comments, you guys, if you want uh, us to see it. But plan uh, if you guys plan to make it tomorrow, those are the things you need. And we can put it tonight if you want on the community post. Sure the things to make the soup so that way you have them for tomorrow we can do that thank you marissa thank you for taking care of everything all my mods i appreciate you doing that don't worry about it and have a good night guys bye go hold on baby i keep touching it almost